My most prized sports card. Well, it's kind of funny because it's not like an expensive card. It's a 1987 Topps Will Clark rookie card, which I believe we sell for $1. But uh, it was when I first started collecting as a kid, first getting into baseball, Will Clark was my favorite giant. It's just a wood bordered Will Clark rookie card. He's standing there at first base with his glove down and ready. So it's not like a super expensive card, but when I look at that card, I just kind of smile. Reminds me of my childhood and, uh, you know, my favorite giant as a kid. I just started opening packs as a kid and I liked it. My dad, you know, bought me packs. He used to buy me sets of tops every year for Christmas. You know, that's just one where it, it just reminds me of getting started, my first, first card experience. I did go to Lefties when it opened. Lefties wasn't around back then yet, but uh, just, you know, corner stores, 7-Elevens, Safeways, Walgreens, they used to have packs of cards. And, you know, I'd be that annoying little kid, mom, mom, can I get a pack of cards, you know? And I'd just bug her until she said yes. You know, that was me, still is kind of. 20 years ago, opened a box of cards, pulled a Babe Ruth game used bat card. So that's pretty cool. Piece of bat from Babe Ruth. He's kind of the godfather of baseball, even though I'm not a Yankee fan, but uh, gotta respect Babe Ruth. And you know, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of cool to look down at a card and say, wow, this was in a bat 100 years ago that was used by maybe the greatest home run hitter ever. So that, that, that was pretty cool. And I think this was about 2003, 2004 set that I got that card out of. Sentimental value, my favorite player as a kid was Roger Clemens. He's got a 1984 Fleer update. It's an extended rookie card. It's a higher value card, it's about $250. Um, and when I was like in high school, I remember saving up, saving up, saving up, saving up, went to a card show and bought one. You know, then the whole grading thing kicked in. I sent it in to get graded, it came back a nine. Uh, that's pretty special. That's, uh, that's the one I say will get buried with me someday. So uh, that's my most sentimental card. You know, as a kid, I saved up for it for, you know, quite a few months, umpired little league, you know, getting 20 bucks a game here, 20 bucks a game there, saved up my money, went to a card show, found it for like 150 bucks, done. Like I said, sent it in to get graded. This was before even grading was around, obviously, but it sent it in about 10 years ago to get graded. Came back at nine, so that's uh, that's the one right there. So it's probably gonna have to be uh, my Trevor Lawrence RPA Rookie Patch Auto from National Treasures from 2021. Bought it on eBay for cheaper than I thought it was supposed to go for. Ended up sending it to PSA, it came back at 10. And now that the Jaguars and Trevor Lawrence are starting to you know make the playoffs and do really well, I haven't checked price-wise, but I'm sure it's worth a lot of money. And uh, for a quarterback I really like coming out of college, um, it's kind of cool to have one of his you know most sought after cards from National Treasures, which is obviously a really nice product, so I'd have to say that one for sure. There's, there's a couple different answers. I also bought this card off eBay. It's a 2022 Top Sapphire Ronald Cunha Jr., who's my favorite player. I bought it off eBay, and it's a PSA 5, but it doesn't look like it should be a PSA 5. You look at the card, and it uh, looks pretty good. It looks like a 9 or 10 for sure, so uh, I've debated cracking it to send it back and see what else, see what else I can get, because I don't see what's wrong with it. But in terms of a unique card, I'd say that one because it's a nice card that I think looks great. But uh, PSA 5 is always, you know, kind of an interesting little grade there for a uh, modern card. So uh, my first ever pack of cards was probably in 2010. Started watching right around the time when the Giants won the World Series, maybe a little bit before that when they made the playoffs. My first ever pack, I opened the pack, was a Giant, and I was super excited. Nate Shareholtz, who played a couple years with the Giants, wasn't anything crazy, but I remember pulling a Giant, and that was the first ever card to go in my binder, the top left, first row of the binder. I still have that binder this day, and it will never move from that place. I thought it was super cool that I was able to get, you know, a guy from my favorite team, who at the time I was five, I didn't really know who the guy was. So that'll always be a guy that not many people know about or like think of as a super great player. But for me, and that card specifically, which you probably could get for 50 cents, it's always something that I think will stay in that spot and be a super th fun thing that I can show my kids and hopefully my grandkids one day and be like, hey, this is how I started and hopefully I can get them into collecting too. Probably just the fact that, you know, you, you kind of get to choose whatever you want to do and talk to different people about your collection because it's yours and you can do whatever you want to do with it. No one's going to tell you what to collect or how to collect it if you want to keep certain cards or give away certain cards no one's gonna tell you what to do so it's interesting to hear different perspectives from people of I keep all my cards I only keep the cards from my my team and stuff like that so I think it's fun to get to know different people and how they collect because again no one's gonna tell you how to do it and it's all your own uh, your own collection all right, so my most prized sports card, I have two Von Miller rookie cards that I got. I was with my dad in 2011, I think. My dad has season tickets to the Broncos game. So we went, it was the breast cancer awareness game. So we got two packs of cards. On the front of both of them, there's a Von Miller rookie card. And it's just like the first memory I have with cards. So it's probably my favorite cards in my collection, my most prized cards. My, my most unique card, I don't really have that, that much special stuff because I kind of stopped collecting elementary middle school because my dad wouldn't buy me any cards so i started back up recently but the first box or like packs i bought from here i got a case hit jonathan taylor honeycomb out of a mosaic football box it's on the left side there's a giant misprint so 
I think that's pretty cool. It's not super special, but it's pretty unique, I'd say. Most sentimental value? It'd probably be the same Von Miller card because it's like the first memory I have. I got it with my dad. I don't know, it's just my favorite card. I still have it sealed, so probably never gonna open it.